Our country. Yes. But the North West people are quite insular as well, though, aren't they? They like their own thing. Mm, well, yeah, I mean, you have a fair bit of banter between uh, Scousers and lads from Manchester, like uh, I'm sure you do in Scotland between different parts. Edinburgh and Glasgow. Well, there you go. Never the twain shall meet. <laughs> well, I was up in uh, Belleville. I'm a truck driver, by the way, mate. Yes. I was up in Belleville yeah. last week. You surprised uh, me. <laughs> I thought yeah. you'd just nicked it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, uh, little story for you, mate. Stood in uh, a certain very big uh, store, food chain store, and uh, a Geordie walks in and says to me, they're all right, these lads, but you can't tell a word they're saying. <laughs> That's in Belleville. <laughs> and I'm struggling to listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> that sums it all up, doesn't it? Hey. They go, you can understand the word the same. Well, you struggle a bit, but that's what it's all about, isn't it, mate? Different dialects. It's different all about struggle. How do you think I, I mean, heavens above, I've walked all over the country. How do you think I get by? There's one of me, there's 15 million of you. Is that fair? Uh, no. But no. But that's a different style of life, mate. You see, <laughs> yeah. that's the whole thing. I mean, I've got to understand all these different accents. That's education, that mate, isn't it? You've come down here to get a bit more education and... I come down here, I bring a bit of education with me for the people of the North West. That's right. They all, they all lap it up, they absolutely drain me. You can't give them enough knowledge down here. They've well, been neglected for too many years. Well, there's enough people trying to get hold of you, Scotty, on the phone. I've struggled for weeks, mate. They say it's easier to win the lottery. That's right. And I'll go <laughs> and put it on tonight and hope I get it on Saturday. You're a top man, you are. Hey, and dink, dinky do. Dinky do to you. Have mate. a safe journey. And you, buddy. Ta da, bud. Ta da. Ta da, top man. Now, uh, Helen from Preston. Are you there, Helen? Um, hi, how are you? Yes, love, not too bad at all. Oh, that's good. This is just a quickie, really, about the young guy who ran. I'm always on for a quickie, Helen. <laughs> the guy with the dyslexia? Yes. I work for uh, the university in Preston, and right. our student services department have a, a group of staff who are dedicated to giving support to students who come in with different needs. Brilliant. Um, and what that can mean for somebody who says they have dyslexia on their application form. When they come to the university, they're assessed prior to that, and it determines the level of the dyslexia, and then there are all sorts of systems. When they come to the university, they're what, love? They can be assessed to see what level the dyslexia right. is. Right, an assessment. Yes. Yep. And that's by um, a professional who does that. And then depending on the report, then there are all sorts of systems in place to give support to those students. And that includes the lecturers being informed about any difficulties there may be with writing. So they shouldn't, the have, to, they shouldn't have to give up then. They should oh, go no, on and no, go to yeah. uni. And to that young guy, I say, and it's not just our university. It's every university has this now. Just go for it. Bring the universities he wants to go to. Find out what support's there. And he'll get it. And I think he should do it. Don't let it stop him. That's very good of you. You're a wee gem. I am. <laughs> Smashing. And I hope everything goes well for you in your course. Uh, well, I work there, so I'm... Oh, you work there? Oh, you're laughing, you're laughing. I, I am laughing, yeah, screaming, laughing. You're screaming, laughing yeah, your head right, off. I, I and know. thank you for everything you do for people then. Well, it's fine. Very much appreciated. He, if he's listening, just... Fill in the application form. The people are there to help them. They even provide people who, who, will, who will take notes for you in your class if, if your dyslexia is so bad. Really? Back your notes. Oh, yeah, there's all sorts of systems in place. So it, things have changed a lot in education. They certainly have, love. I thought I knew the system quite well, but that's a new one in me that well, somebody will actually take the notes. Oh, oh, yeah, all sorts of things. Scribes and people who will read back notes. All sorts of things are available to them. So... Um, he shouldn't let anything stand in his way because it's all possible for him. That's fantastic. And he's to go and do it. Well Get done. Get rolled and ring you back this time next year and tell you what his first Tell day. us if he's got his degree. Exactly. exactly. Fantastic. Listen, thanks again for everything you do. Okay then, thank you. Hey, and dinky do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, darling. Right, there we go. She didn't actually say it, but I said it for her. I said, uh, dinky do. Michael from Clitheroe, you're listening to Scotty McClue, folks. Morning, hey, Scotty. Good morning to you. Hi there. Yeah, um, just that gentleman who we were on earlier uh, regarding epilepsy. Uh, and you did mention that uh, you knew friends of yours. Was that uh, work related, or is it personal friends that you knew who had a, who, who you knew had a epilepsy? So, sorry, he I, a friends of mine. Yeah, you mentioned that uh, you you knew people 
of personal people. Yes, no, that's personal friends. Just personal friends. Personal friends, right. you know. Thought, yeah. And I've right. seen them. I, I remember us. Uh, I remember us having a meeting once, and uh, one of them just collapsed. He was he was about six foot tall. Just collapsed right across the middle of the floor. Mm-hmm. And somebody that knew him well said, uh, "You know, everybody was sort of shocked. They thought he'd snuffed it or something." Yeah. And somebody said, um, "Just leave him. He's all right. He'll, he's okay. He hasn't hurt himself. He'll come yeah. round." All right. Yeah. Um, I thought you might have worked in a hospital uh, or so, of some kind. Uh, you know, when you're saying you've been up and down the country doing, you know, uh, all sorts of jobs and stuff. Um, no, I've, I've got... Uh, I, I used to work in a hospital for five and a half years. Right. And, and um, I work with bad epilepsy. Um, I don't suffer from it myself, thank goodness. But um, just basically you're asking questions about you keep them warm and one thing or another. Yeah. Do you think um, the public are uneducated about this? This, yes, uh, I think they're unaware. I mean, I don't think they're stupid. I think they're probably, no, I are, but, I, but I do not, think they are uneducated. I think I think that they're uneducated about so many things. Right. You know, I think people are uneducated about how do you address someone who is in a wheelchair, someone who is paraplegic, someone who uh, is spastic, somebody who has cerebral palsy. Sure. Are you? Are you? Are you? What, what's your opinion then, very quickly, in solving? So this educational problem to to the nation. I think to actually allow it. I mean, some people might find it bores them if they don't have the complaint. But but for the grace of God, go all of us. And I think it's an important factor on a program like this. Well, uh, that's 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 fair comment. Because uh, if, if there's any pro, I mean, the one thing without blowing any trumpets, because it's not me, it's the people that listen. But I mean, the one thing this program does is is reach a massive, massive number of ordinary people. I appreciate that. What about if if a person who who obviously who is next to a person in a shop, for instance, and somebody has a grand mal, and then all of a sudden uh, doesn't know what to do, and the head is banging all over the place, one thing or another, um, that sort of thing. What that person wouldn't know what to do. No, and, and that sort of panic and thinking, what's this person going through? And that, that sort of question. What would you suggest? The coat under the head. Definitely, hold the head, hold the head, um, put them in the, um, uh, you know... In the uh, unconscious position? Yeah, the leg up against the chest, but never put your hand in the mouth when no. you're having the seizure, never, because it can chew your... Uh, bye, bye, bye fingers. Bye, bye fingers completely, yeah, yeah, um, it's a very good topic, uh, but uh, I think that, um, you, well, it's a good show anyway, I've been listening to you for quite some time now, and... Um, yeah, uh, keep up the good work, Scotty. Hey, and dig you do, and thanks for coming on, mate. Thanks for everything you do. Thank you very much. Bye now. Bye-bye now. Right, we've got Liam, who's in Liverpool. Are you there, Liam? All right, Scotty. All right, mate. How are you, la? Hey, I'm not too bad, la, la. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sound, mate, sound, yeah. Are you in the town? Yeah, no, no, I'm out working. I'm on the cabs. Are you on the cabs? Shall I give you a quick, uh, one of the old... <laughs> No, it's just... Have there, you got the dandelion and bardock on the meter? Hey. <laughs> you got the dandelion and bardock on the meter? Oh, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just that fella you had on before saying he uh, should get rid of us scousers. Yeah. I'll tell you what, mate, you never meet a better person than the scouser. So they say. Yeah, well, it's true, mate. It's, it's always the scousers that tell me that, though, then. What, what do you think, then? What is the big asset of the scouser? I mean, you know, I know, but the nation needs to know. Um, sense of humour. Yeah. But always laughing and joking. You have to have a sense of humour, don't you? Yeah, you've got to. <laughs> <All right, Scotty. laughs> I'll tell you, I've noticed I was driving past the St George's all the other day. Yeah. Are there any entrances? Are there any what? Entrances or exits? No, not really. It looks as if it's just solid, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, how'd you get in there? <laughs> um, through the roof we go. <laughs> 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 hey, listen, mate. Have a good night. And you, Scotty. I, and and uh, if I see you going round the old one way there, I'll give you the. <laughs> All right, mate. Take it easy. I'll eh? see you, lad. You take.